hello squaddies how are you doing welcome back to our youtube channel to another video to another article with me your girl doreen so you know what buckle up and let's take this ride um the title of today's um article um it's from the news.com um it's titled prince harry Meghan markle may face serious public anger in 2024 oh my god guys we are still in 2023 leave harry and megan alone why are you trying to um predict bad things about other people how would you feel if someone literally predicted something bad for you in a year that hasn't even begun and you know how we usually start like the new year with so many hopes and you dare say this about another person what is up with you guys what what, what is wrong with you people you know, have you spoken to Harry and Meghan and seen that, you know what, um, your plans are not going to work for 2024. So yeah, your future is doomed. Your 2024 is doomed. Have you had a one-on-one -on -one talk with them? No. No, these are literally baseless claims. Um, Craig Hamilton Parker has predicted about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's future. Oh, hail prophets. Craig Hamilton Parker. We have a prophet among us. A prophet among us. And the only people he could predict the future about were Harry and Meghan. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have faced a lot of backlash in 2023 following their stance and claims against the royal family. Um, have been issued new serious warning by a living Nostradamus for the new year. Ooh, Prophet Craig. But all I'm going to say is, stands, as far as I'm concerned, the British media is the one that has been making stands and claims. You know, unless you have changed the British media name into Harry and Meghan, then yeah. Yeah, they have been making a lot of stunts because every day you wake up and you literally find stories about Harry and Meghan and you're like, they have not even spoken. They have not even be, been spotted anywhere. They have not gotten out of their houses, you know, and people there say Harry and Meghan have said this. Harry and Meghan have done this against the royals. Oh, my God. They are literally continents away from them. So Harry and Meghan have not been making any stands or claims about the royal family. And if they have said anything, it's just their side of the story, which as far as we know, you know, compared to the British media, it's the truth. Because the British media is known to spread lots and lots of rumors and fictional stories about Harry and Meghan. Um, Craig Hamilton Parker, Prophet Craig Hamilton Parker, has predicted that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will have a public role in 2024. Oof. Um, <laughs> he better give us the details man i hope this is a prophet with details i hope so megan and harry who are being dragged into the new royal race road thank you who are being dragged because they did nothing wrong literally harry and megan are chilling in their in their homes they are chilling in montecito having the best lives with their kids and suddenly out of nowhere well, like harry and megan said harry and megan said they are being dragged into a mess that they have nothing to do with. Um, um, uh, Meghan and Harry, who are being dragged into the royal race row, which was recently reignited by Omid Kobe, will face fierce public outrage in mm. the next year, says who? Says who? Prophet Craig. Oh my god, I really need the details. I've just seen something, but let you will see it. Craig, according to Express UK, says actual public argument between Harry and Negan in a public place. Oh my god, this actually makes sense. It makes sense now. Who was he speaking to? Express UK. Man, we, we <laughs> this this article already is has already the words lies 
fictional stories painted on them. But hear what he actually said, that he says actual public arguments between Harry and Meghan. Prophet Craig, you better give us the, you know, the time and the place, you know, for the argument because you see the future. But I'm just like, well, what is wrong with you people? Are you that sad? Like, you guys literally don't have love in your life such that when you see um, a man and a woman being happy, you know, loving each other, being the love of each other's life, you know, building something for themselves, for their family, you wish them the worst thing possible, which is having a public argument. Are you that unloved? Do you have these many, you know, insecurities and issues with yourself? Because honestly, this is an insecurity. People, you know, Harry, we literally know Harry and Meghan are, are just the real epitome of love. And now you're looking at them, you're like, um, they're going to have a public argument, you know? In addition to someone else who said that Harry and Meghan are going to be divorced, I'm like, guys, fix your issues. You guys are literally insecure. Because who, who does this? Who literally um, wishes someone else's marriage? You know, who wishes people who are in a marriage to have a public argument? Who, who does that? an insecure person does that um he went on to suggest that king charles three younger son harry may face an attack but reassured that it wouldn't result in physical oh my god oh my god how how can you do this you know this is even outrageous it's shocking you know you're like sitting someone saying ah prince harry is gonna have an attack a physical attack how 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 can you sit down and say these and um you know these these are the kind of things that harvey has been fighting for a very very long time he's like the british media needs to be put on check because the kind of stories it's writing about the royals you know it's it's not allowed um just because we were born into you know a bloodline that leads a country and just because you guys refer to us as the national family, um, it doesn't give you the excuse to make certain claims about a person. It doesn't give you um, the, you know, the freedom to say that someone is going to have an attack. Because this, this, this is a very serious claim. It's Prince Harry. And if this guy was really sure about what, what was going to happen, shouldn't he contact the authorities? Or the security and tell them you know what our prince is gonna be attacked at this place so put on security measures that's what you know this person should be saying not um if you know if his um if his stories have a foundation that's what he should be doing not coming out here writing an article about it what are we supposed to do you know what is um, Prince Archie supposed to do when he reads such a thing that my dad is going to be attacked? What is that that my mom and my dad are going to have a public argument? What do you think that does to a child? Because this is what, again, Prince Harry is fighting against with the British media. That whatever you're doing is not only affecting me and my family, it's even affecting our kids as they grow up. What do you think these kids will grow up thinking if they know that their dad and their mom are being told every day, being told that they are going to have a divorce? Imagine waking up one day and just your mom and your dad are trending and guess what? That your dad and your mom are going to have a divorce. And your sister right there watching them literally being happy with each other. What do you think that does to a child? You know? And this is what, again, Prince Harry keeps saying, the British media needs to be put in check because honestly this this is literally wrong you know this is wrong and it's not just about you know um craig whoever it's not just about him you know it's about the media house express uk it's about um the writer who wrote this article you see this is how bad journalism um becomes poisonous you know and if these people are not kept in check 
Imagine what they will be doing by the time Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet are growing up. By the time they are their father's age, imagine what they will be doing. If they have the audacity to do this to their parents, knowing very well that whatever stories they're spreading could affect the kids' mental, mental wellness, you know, it could literally impact how the children grow up. Imagine what they will be willing to do once those kids grow up. And again, kudos to Harry and Meghan for removing Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet out of these suckers. Um, honestly, I don't have the strength to keep reading this, but whew, let's read. Nostradamus was quoted as saying, I keep seeing Harry's angry face in the front page of a newspaper. Red furious and something that happened at a public event. While well, predicting about the Californian-based couple, Craig Hamilton Parker claimed that Meghan will follow her husband Harry's footsteps to write her own memoir. I'm seeing Meghan's got a new book out um, or planning a new book. I get the feeling it's either going um, to be stopped or delayed. Something big is going to go wrong with that, claimed the fortune teller. Um, it comes amid Prince Harry's marathon legal battle over his UK security as the 39-year-old royal was back in high court last week um, for three-day judicial review of the home office decision to scale back to his protection. Uh, to scale back his protection in Britain in May 2023, Harry and Meghan were involved in relentless pursuits by paparazzi in the Big Apple, which left the couple traumatized. However, as more details unveiled from the incident, the couple received backlash for exaggerating their situation. And I'm like, this, this is literally bad journalism. There's nowhere this is right. You know, there's no world where this is right. Literally, um, just predicting a person's future actually who gave you the authority to predict a person's future honestly this is just constant breach of privacy because who gives you the right to do that and i'm just gonna end that this is utterly and i don't know it's just purely wrong until the next video bye bye